Today we'll be going over why did King Henry break from the Roman Catholic Church? First of all, who was King Henry? He was the King of England from 1509 to 1547, and he separated England from the Catholic Church because the Pope had too much power and wouldn't let him get a divorce. King Henry decided to break from the Roman Catholic Church by cutting the Pope's authority and embracing the ideas of the Protestant Reformation because the Pope refused for him to have a divorce with his wife and restricted him to marry someone who would have a son for a, ma for a male heir. He wanted to marry his mistress, Anna Boilier, but the Pope refused to grant Henry the divorce, so he created his own church that allowed him to divorce Catherine, his current wife, and crown Anne as the new queen. When Anna failed to give Henry a son and only gave a daughter who became Queen Elizabeth I, Henry put charges which were false against Anna and had her to be beheaded at the Tower of London. And this is the spot where she was beheaded in front of the public. After he beheaded his wife, he quickly remarried other woman. And the next woman, Jane, was the only one he loved because she was the only one to bear the son, Prince Edward. But after he di after she died after the childbirth, he was quick to remarry another girl called Anna and they met at the altar of Jane's wedding. However, when she saw the when she he saw how she looked like, he decided he didn't want to marry anymore because of how ugly she looked. Even though their marriage failed, Anna was still kind to Henry and they quickly became friends. She was a good stepmother to all of his children and was still respected as a queen during his rage, even though he was remarrying other women. He continues to remarry other women, even going for um, women at their teen age. But when she was caught cheating on him, she was beheaded at the tower, and he married another woman called Catherine, who was forced to be in a relationship with him even though she didn't want to. She later ran away and decided to marry a man she actually loved. This is the gallery where his past lover screamed for Henry to forgive her when she kissed his friends at a party and she was later executed. This is the great hall in which he would dance and dine with the queens and guests. And Henry would attend religious services here. One of his past lovers were buried beneath the altar of the Chapel Royal. Henry's kids. Prince Henry became the king after he died even though he was still a kid but he was sure, shortly died after. Mary, the daughter of Catherine, became the queen and she was deeply religious and wanted to avenge her mother and tried to convert the country back to Catholicism, Catholicism and anyone who defined her was tortured or executed. Therefore, she was called Bloody Mary by the citizens and she even imprisoned her own sister Elizabeth in the tower for being Protestant. Elizabeth became queen against all odds, and she was tired of fighting over religion and encouraged other people to tolerate other religions as well. She built England into a superpower and defeated the Spanish Armenian in 1588 and established the England's navy as a world recognized force. Westminster is where Elizabeth I was buried and also her older sister Mary I and 
They're celebrated mostly in London. This is the place where all of the royalties had sat down. And this was the throne of every British monarch. And it was from the legend of the stone that Jacob in the biblical history rested on, on the book of Genesis. And it's kept in Scotland with the more modern crown jewels. Thank you.